Hi everyone, I'm Asa, and welcome to my video on Anti-Heal, Sunder, and Shred in set 11. So this video hopefully will be pretty simple. Basically, I just want to run through all the possible options. So the items that have you are familiar with, if you played previous sets, have carried over. There's three Anti-Heal items, Red Buff, Bobo, Sunfire Cape, uh, Morello. There's two Sunder items and two Shred items, so even Shred Last Whisper, Spark, Shiv. And then there's a few new ways to get it through the set itself. So champion-wise, Cho'Gath, Zyra, Yone, and Annie provide anti-heal. None of them are super reliable. Um, Yone hits a lot of units, but he doesn't cast that often. Zyra hits one unit at a time. Annie actually hits quite a lot of units. Uh, she's probably the most reliable of the anti-heal options, but she is a frontliner. Um, she's probably the best anti-heal option. That being said, her traits are Fortune Invoker. So Fortune oftentimes is kind of not like a real trait when you're trying to win fights. So she's kind of a one trait unit to compensate for that. Um, but yeah, I think if you don't have anti-heal, playing an Annie could definitely be a decent option. Um, another option is an Ink Shadow Toxin Tattoo. You won't always have access to this, but sometimes uh, the Ink Shadow Tattoos are random. So sometimes you will be able to get this and that will give you anti-heal. So if you're planning on playing Ink Shadow like Kaisa Carry or something, and you see that the three ink shadow bonus is this toxin tattoo, you can try to refrain from building anti-heal so you don't um, waste your resources because anti-heal items are slightly less efficient than non-anti-heal items in terms of the other things they give, which obviously, I mean, that has to be the case. Otherwise, there'd be no trade-off. You would just always make these anti-heal items. All right, next we'll talk about armor penetration. Pretty similar here. Uh, there's two units that give, give it all, Aphelios and Irelia. And then um, Kale with three Story Weaver. If you pick the Shred Sunder option, uh, you can only pick that one time during the game. The first time you put in three Story Weaver, you have a chance. You have a choice for bonus attack speed or AP or Shred Sunder. Uh, so if you pick Shred Sunder, you'll have this. Um, it's really early in PBE. I, I don't really know how good this Kale option is going to be, but we'll see. I really, of course, is a five cost, so you're not going to reliably be able to get an Irelia, so it's not like you don't want to build these because you know you want to have an Irelia in your final board. And then Aphelios is also somewhat unreliable. He does Sunder for a long time, and Aphelios is actually kind of unique compared to other AD champions in the past, where he Sunders before he does his own damage. So this is actually very unusual, and but this basically just means that if you're using Aphelios himself as your primary carry, you probably don't need to build um, Sunder. If Aphelios is not your primary carry, he doesn't cast that often and he doesn't hit everything, so I would probably still try to get uh, sun uh, Sunder in your comp. If you're carrying like an Ash and you're playing an Aphelios for Sniper, uh, these even Shroud and Last Lister will still be good. Shred, kind of similar. There's uh, two units that give it, and then there's um, the Kale, three Story Weaver. Uh, once again, neither of these units are that. Um, well, I guess Irelia is a reliable center if you can get her, but um, for Shred, neither of these are super reliable. A Loon hits only one row at a time, and Aatrox only hits one unit at a time. So if you're playing magic damage as your primary source of damage, you will always, almost always want uh, either Spark, Shiv, or a Three Story Weaver. Um, because th these two units don't really provide that reliably. So, as you can see, n there's really no super reliable, ubiquitous um, source of anti-heal, sunder, or shred in the entire set. So, you can just, if you have the opportunity to make any of these items on stage 2-1, for example, at the start of the game, you can just make it and you're not going to regret it because like, you're not going to be like, oh, I made... Last Whisper, but then I end up playing Aurelia later anyway, because of course Aurelia is a 5 cost, you don't know if you're going to get her. You're not going to be like, oh I made Shiv, but then I end up carrying Elune. Um, because yeah, like Elune, it's not that reliable that whatever she's hitting is already going to be shredded. Um, so yeah. You can pretty safely make all these items unless you're primary carry Aphelios. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching.